Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Boo Boy Kennels, a.k.a. Willie V. I have a little um, tip here. Um, normally, I don't share this tip just because I tend to assume most folks know this. But since um, my buddy and I were going over a few things and talking some things over, I decided I would um, share this tip. Now, let me first state that I've never worked for a web host, never been employed by a web host company or anything like that. Uh, most of the uh, things I've, I've learned, I've either learned through trial and error or through uh, communications with uh, friends of mine or um, simply uh, doing searches online. Anyways, um, what I'm going to show you is how to use the robot text and also how to protect your robot text from being accessed via the web page by somebody going to the link directly. So first thing we'll need to do is we'll need to create a robot text file. Oops, wrong file. It's not the one. All right. Now you can uh, disregard everything from this line. Don't do not include this at all. Just um, focus more on what's over here. Uh, first thing you'll need to do is you, you want to make sure that the robots, and we're just gonna we're just gonna generalize all the robots together. We're not gonna do a specific one. Uh, first thing you do is to make all the robots follow the rule of the robots text file is you'll need to type in user capital U dash agent semicolon space asterisk. Now this rule will apply to all the robots in general when they're crawling your website. Uh, next thing you'll need to do is you want to set up certain directories that you do not want to be um, indexed or crawled on your server. Uh, for the most part, most people do have a CGI bin folder. So we want to go ahead and disallow that. And it, as you'll notice, um, since this is, actually, this is a folder directory, I do have a forward slash trail in it. Now, for example purposes, I also have a uh, test page .html. Now, this this page is, um, doesn't really exist; just using it as a uh, demonstration purposes. And as you'll notice, there's no trailing slash on this, so you want to use a trailing forward slash for the folder directory you want to block or not have indexed. And also, any pages you do not want indexed. Now, be careful when doing pages because you don't want to block a page you do want indexed. All right, now once you have that set up and you have all your uh, folders and pages set up, uh, you'll want to save this and do it in, in all lowercase letters and name it robots.txt. So it should be a regular. Uh, text format, not rich text or anything like that, just plain basic text format. And upload that into your server's root directory. All right, uh, the next thing we'll need to do is if you have access to your uh, HT access file, if your host uh, does allow you to do so, um, another thing you want to do is um, you want to make sure that directories which do not really pertain to a web page maybe maybe you got music files um, video files and you don't have a a dummy index file in it what you can do is you can create a dot uh, ht access file that also goes in your root directory as well and you actually have to save it as dot ht access now some uh, text programs will allow you to do this, some may not. Um, another way to go about it is to do it through your web host. And a lot of them 
uh, offer that that feature as well. Now, one of the main things you want to do is to make sure that those directories are not accessible by people that shouldn't be going into them and seeing the whole file structure that's in there is to include this line right here. Options, all indexes. As a you know, capital O, and then a space in between the letters, dash indexes. And that'll prevent people from accessing uh, folder directories that they shouldn't be going into. Now the other thing you want to do is you want to protect your .htaccess file from also being accessible via the web by somebody simply typing it in and seeing uh, certain uh, directives or directions that you do not want them to be able to access. So what you do is you'll create the file just as I have it here. You'll type this on in in a little alligator faces but you know just as you see it files.htaccess allow or deny deny and you want to deny from all and, and I'm going to show you the example um, you're also going to want to do that with your robots.txt um, file as well and, and the reason I say this is because even though you set it up so that spiders aren't able to um, well, you're denying them the ability to crawl certain directories or pages simply because you don't want them access. Um, it's great, you know, it, it definitely works, but the downfall to it is somebody can just type in your URL and at the end of it, robots.txt. Now they see the entire fo folder structure that you're trying to prevent from being indexed, but yet you're making it public to all open eyes, including hackers as well and this is um, not to say that you know you're, you're a hacker and that's the reason why you want to view it but for the most part people that view this page and this page typically are, are looking to uh, hack your site um, the other file you may want to block as well is your php.any file now this can cause some security risk so you don't really want to always keep it public unless you're having to use it for a particular reason so you may want to consider uh, blocking that file as well it won't stop you from being able to view it in your forum um, you're still able to access it because of course you're in within your own directory but as far as like you know actually typing out the URL going to it um, you're basically going to stop people from being able to view that so once you have that, um, again, like I said, make sure you save it as .htaccess and put that in your uh, root directory as well. Now the example with the pictures I'm going to show you here, I'm going to show you two pictures. Uh, the first one is the .htaccess. As you can see here, this is a live site. It's uh, itexture.com forward slash .htaccess. Now, if I didn't block this from being viewed publicly, you would be able to see what I actually have in there as my directives. So I don't want people to be able to view this. So basically, you'll get the uh, 403 permission denied error. Now, you may have a few more things on here, depending on how you actually set it up for your uh, um, 403 HTML or PHP pages. That's just one of the ways. Uh, the other one that I have blocked as well is also my robots text file. So I see it again, it's a live site, and this text file is actually this is there. You know, it, it is literally there. It's just not viewable by the public. So at least this way it'll keep people from being able to see what your folder structure is, where your files are being kept, and it'll help keep them out of there, or at least make it extremely difficult for them to be able to access your files. 
Okay, this was a simple tip. You know, like I said, me, my buddy and I were going over a few things, and I figured, what the hell? Let me share this for those that may not know of it, may be interested in it, or just want to, you know, help protect their files. All right, this uh, this was uh, Boo Boy Kennels, aka Willie V of iTexture.com, bringing you another helpful tutorial. Again, if you have any questions, comments, uh, please leave a reply. Or if you have ideas on other uh, tutorials or tips, you know, feel free to let us know. Till then, thank you for watching.